Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, I'll show you how to boot up from a USB drive in case that you have a old computer like we have here. So if that is your case, um, the BIOS is not possible. Or it doesn't have the option to boot up from the USB drive. I'll teach you how to do it just right away. So if you have another issue, maybe you have a virtual box, like a virtual machine or with VMware, this kind of software works great too. So if you want to boot up, let's say that you have the ISO, you can boot up from the virtual machine, you can do that and then put the pen drive and the way you go. In this case, I have a pen drive or champ drive connected to the computer already. I have the DVD with, the, with this version of Linux. It's, uh, it's called Plop Linux. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can do that. Also, we are going to see step by step in the BIOS how to make it work and I'll show you everything. Remember that I have Periscope and Meerkat if you want to follow me. Um, now we are going to continue. Remember, click and share if you like this video. Okay, to enter to this screen, you may know that if you press delete, you will enter to this stage. So now that you see all the options, you have to get in where it says advanced BIOS features. You press enter and you will see here where it says hard drive this boot priority. Here we have the Kingston because we have a SD, SSD drive or solid state drive and we have the pen drive or champion drive so in this case we are going to boot up with this I mean if I remove the CD-ROM but in this case we have the CD-ROM to boot up first and then the hard drive so if your BIOS doesn't have that option just let it select it on CD-ROM and then that is what you should do here you have another option like floppy disk, zip drives, CD-ROM and, and, and other things but let's focus on this and uh, once you have a uh, choose that you press escape and then save and exit and now we're going to boot up with this version of Linux that is very good it's very little and you will see how it works now we have the Pioneer, the drive, here we have the 120 gigabyte drive, the SSD, and we have the pen drive here, we are booting up from the CD-ROM, and once it boot up, you can choose the partition that you want to boot up, but the thing is, you are going to choose USB, that is the thing that you want. There is another option, but we are going just to go straight forward to this option. You press USB, and now we are going to see the mem test because that is what I have in this uh, pen drive or sham drive. And as you see, it was simple, it works every time, and I hope it was useful. You can do the same, like I said, in the virtual machines. Um, that's it. Remember, if you like it, Big a like, if you dislike it, subscribe to my channel and see you to the next time.